How do courts handle divorce matters when one spouse wants to reconcile, especially if that spouse claims divorce is against his religion? And can a divorce statute be ruled unconstitutional? The 2004 Connecticut case of Grimm v. Grimm explores these questions. Beverly Grimm first filed for divorce from her husband, Robert, in 1988. She withdrew the filing after Robert's efforts to prolong the costly process and challenged Beverly's claims that the two had irreconcilable differences. Over the course of the following nine years, she proceeded to file and withdraw three more times. In 1997, Beverly ultimately filed for divorce for the fifth time, asserting irretrievable breakdown of the marriage as grounds for dissolution. The trial court held approximately 16 trial dates in 2002, during which testimonial and documentary evidence was presented. In January of the following year, the court dissolved the marriage. Robert appealed the ruling with several contentions, including that the state divorce statute violated his right to freedom of religion and that the trial court erroneously determined that the marriage had irretrievably broken down.